But I'm, what I'm here to tell you is that that will indeed be the case. That the future we're headed for is one where you can literally just have anything you want. Optimus uh, 22 degree of freedom hand and forearm is now in production and it's learning to walk and catch balls. I mean, I mean look at that's where we came from, it's wild. And, I, and ultimately everyone in the world will be able to have anything they want. What's key to that is robotics and AI. Tesla just gave a major update on their humanoid robot, Optimus, and what Elon Musk said might actually change how we think about the future. We're not talking about prototypes or concept videos anymore. These robots are walking, catching balls, and going into production this year. Elon says Optimus could become the biggest product in history, and honestly, after hearing what Tesla's building, that doesn't sound far off. In this video, we'll break down what Elon revealed, how it ties into Tesla's long-term plans, and why this could affect way more than just the tech industry. So in a very short period of time, uh, Optimus has gone from being uh, an idea to the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. There's nothing, there's nothing even close to the level of sophistication of, of Optimus. And, um, and Tesla has some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our, our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz, Tin Man. <laughs> well, was that a heart or a brain? One of the two. Um, so, it, it's, got a, it's, got the, it's got the real world AI. So Tesla's the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also try to take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. So in order for robots to be useful, that you have to, they, have to be, they have to be intelligent. They have to be able to do useful things just by asking. And you have to be able to make a large number of them um, at an affordable price. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. Let's, let's see, what, what, is the limit of, what is the limit of physics of how big can a casting machine be? Let's find out. Elon Musk believes that Tesla's Optimus robot could become the biggest product of all time. And honestly, after watching the latest update, it's hard to ignore what's happening here. Optimus now has a 22 degree of freedom hand. It can walk, catch a ball, and it's already in production. That's fast progress for something that was just a concept a couple years ago. What makes this different from other humanoid robots? Tesla is combining everything. Real-world AI from their self-driving cars, electric motor expertise, battery tech, and insane manufacturing speed. Elon compares it to the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, finally getting a real brain. And yeah, it's kind of like that. But what really got me was when he said their casting process could one day make a car in under five seconds. That's not science fiction anymore. If Tesla actually pulls this off, humanoid robots that can learn, think, and be built affordably. We're talking about a total shift in how industries operate, and maybe even what work means for us in the future. It's exciting. It's also kind of terrifying. So this year, we, we hopefully will be able to make about um, 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically, uh, we're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. Um, but since it's a totally new product with totally new, you know, like everything is totally new, um, I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10, you know, half of the 10,000. But, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion, FYI. Which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots. I'd be like, whoa. Long t I think long term, with Optimus and self-driving, uh, Tesla will probably be the most valuable company in the world. Um, but there are also other companies out there that make great products and services. So I think that's the way you want to look at it. Say like, is, do, you, do you think this product, because that's the reason why my companies exist, is to make great products and services. Uh, so if you think that the company is going to improve over time, then buy the stock, and if you don't, then don't. And then 
the stock market is, is it's a very strange thing. It's kind of like, um, you know, I think it's Warren Buffett's sort of uh, metaphor or analogy is, uh, you know, the stock market's like having someone stand at the edge of your property or your house and, and yell prices about to, to buy, buy or sell your house every day. And like sometimes they take their meds and sometimes they don't. Okay? Um, but I think, we'll, I think we'll literally build a legion, at least one legion of robots uh, this year. Um, and then pro probably 10 legions next year. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool unit, you know. Um, units of legion. Um, so probably 50,000-ish next year. Um, and then it's probably ready for, to, I'm hopefully ready for Optimus to be used outside of Tesla controlled environment, or maybe around the middle of next year, second half of next year sometime. Um, so, um, so that's, I think that yeah, sounds about right. Probably second half of next year is, is, is when they'll be available. And then we, we, we will um, offer Optimus robots uh, first to uh, Tesla employees. You know, there, there are actually quite a few things I've written over the years um, that it would be good to compile into like a, I don't know, booklet or something. Because um, I actually have to be reminded of those things myself. And I'm like, oh, I remember that thing that I thought of after making so many mistakes and, and trying to make fewer mistakes. Um, so, you know, there's like, for example, that like uh, five-step process of like make the requirements less dumb and then try to delete the pro pardon process step, only then optimize, only then speed it up, and only the fifth thing is automate. Um, I have to repeat that to myself many times because I've made the mistake of doing it backwards so many times. Th th that's actually the purpose of a company. Sometimes people forget why does a company exist. Uh, a company exists, it's a group of people collected together to produce a compelling product or service uh, that others find useful and where the value of the product and service uh, is greater than the cost of what it took to make that product or service. Um, so sometimes, weirdly, pr profit ha is like viewed negatively, but really profit is, is, is just the, the, the difference in value between the output and the input. It's like, what did it cost you to make it, and what did it cost you, and, and what are people prepared to, to pay for it? That's the value that you created. So, um, it, it's, it's tough actually even to maintain like a 10% uh, profitability, which is to make the, make the output 10% more valuable than the input. It's actually quite hard especially in, in the car industry, which is very competitive. So we should just not lose sight of, like, why are we here? Oh, we're here to make useful products that people love, you know, and, um, and take, care of the, take care of them over time. So then how are we doing in that respect, and how can, we, how can we do that better? Now here's where it gets even more real. Elon Musk says Tesla plans to build up to 10,000 Optimus robots this year, and possibly scale to 50,000 by next year. That's not a lab demo anymore. That's a production line. The comparison he made was kind of chilling. 5,000 robots is the size of a Roman legion. That's the scale they're aiming for in just the first wave. By mid to late 2026, these robots might be working outside Tesla, maybe even in your home. Employees will get first access, which is smart for testing, but also surreal. Imagine inviting friends over and saying, hey, check out my Tesla robot. What really struck me, though, was Elon's reminder of the core mission, building useful things that people love. He talks about being less wrong over time and how important it is to take responsibility and improve. It's humbling because even with all this tech, he brings it back to fundamentals, relationships, goals, value. If Tesla nails this, we could be entering a future where labor is redefined, robotics enter the household, and productivity explodes. But so do the ethical questions. Like I do think Tesla stock actually, um, and um, you know, I think always operating on the principle that everyone is wrong to some degree, and we should aspire to be less wrong uh, over time, which we will not always succeed in doing. Um, but if you know, if two days out of three you're less wrong over time you're going to be, your batting average is going to be really good. Uh, so never, nobody ever bats a thousand, but you can improve your batting average. So I think rigorous uh, 
you know, you want to critique yourself, you want to internalize responsibility. Um, and these are all things I need to remind myself of, you know, just to be clear, I'm not like suggesting I um, yeah, so internalize responsibility, <laughs> be less wrong. Um, and, um, and we should remember what we should remember what is our what is our goal as a company? Our goal is to make amazing products that people love, um, and then to take care of those products and service. So we should say, what, what are we doing to make our products uh, better, to make them more affordable, uh, to have the customer experience be delightful? Um, because you know, um, so sometimes the person yelling about the price of your house is uh, having a good day or and sometimes having a bad day. Um, but it's still the same house. You're like, I'm like, it's literally still the same house. Like, you know, so Tesla stock goes up and it goes down, um, but it actually it's still the same company. Um, it's just people's perception of the future. Um, I don't know, I guess it's just very emotional, you know, so. Um, but for me, I, like while it's difficult to predict how things will be from, you know, in the next say six to 12 months, if you say like, where will things be in three years or five years? Uh, the future of Tesla is incredibly bright. Elon believes Tesla will become the most valuable company in the world, thanks to Optimus and full self-driving. And honestly, he might be right. If Tesla succeeds at both, they won't just be a car company, they'll be an AI-powered automation empire. What hit me was how grounded his reasoning is. He said, if you think a company will keep making better products, then it's worth investing in. If not, don't. That's it. He even quoted Warren Buffett's analogy. The stock market is like a guy shouting house prices at you every day. Some days he's sane, some days he's not. But your house hasn't changed. It's a reminder that stock prices don't always reflect real progress. And while Elon admits short-term predictions are hard, he's confident about the next three to five years. Given how fast Tesla is pushing robotics, casting, and AI, that confidence seems earned. It's rare to see a company this focused on long-term value and executing at this speed. If they stay on this path, it really could reshape everything, from how we work, to what we value, to how entire industries operate. Um, I mean, I touched on this briefly uh, earlier, but you're right that I think we do, do need to articulate it uh, more prominently and maybe more often, um, because it's really about uh, sustainable abundance. You know, can we have a future of abundance for all that is also sustainable and compatible with, um, with nature? So we're not destroying nature, but would you also get abundance for everyone on Earth? Sounds like the best possible future. That's what we're trying to do. In the last few moments of the talk, Elon doubled down. Optimus might not just be Tesla's biggest product, it could be the biggest product ever. And at that scale, it's no longer just about transportation or even energy. He talked about a new mission, sustainable abundance. That's a massive shift. It's not just about saving the planet anymore, it's about making life better for everyone, without destroying the world in the process. And honestly, that vision hits hard. Imagine a future where robots handle hard labor, energy is clean and abundant, and the economy runs more efficiently because of AI. But it also raises big questions. Who benefits from this abundance? How do we make sure this power is used well, not just to replace jobs, but to create dignity, opportunity, and a better quality of life? That's it for today's breakdown on Tesla's Optimus and the future Elon Musk is building. Whether it excites you, concerns you, or a little of both, one thing's clear. This is happening fast, and it's going to impact every part of our lives. If you found this video interesting, hit that like button, and subscribe for more updates and deep dives into AI, robotics, and the future of innovation. Drop a comment below. Do you think Optimus will actually change the world? Or are we still years away from that future? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.